welcome back to all the things today i'm going to share with you a ten dollar stock up for your medicine cabinet um i didn't buy first aid stuff i bought medicine stuff i have a large stock i keep a large stock of medications on hand it's really convenient when you get sick to not have to go to the store sick or have somebody else go to the store for you because you're sick um, to just already have it at home and medicine can be expensive, but I wanted to show you what you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, we all know the Dollar Tree is on a dollar anymore. It's a dollar twenty-five now, and and up. You know they even have three, five, and I think even ten dollar items at the Dollar Tree now. But these were all a dollar twenty-five, so I got eight items for my ten dollars, and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, here's what I picked up for my ten dollars. <clears throat> I got two of the, I got the nighttime cold and flu. Um, you get 10 of them, and it says compare to Vicks NyQuil. Um, I did get the, I wanted to get the liquid, but they were sold out at our at our Dollar Tree. Um, they just had the tablets left. So I did get one of the nighttime and then one of the daytime. Um, you get 10 gels in that one also. And it's compared to the Alka-Seltzer Plus Maximum Strength uh, Day Cold and Flu. This nasal decongestant, so basically it's Sudafed. It shows there compared to Sudafed. Um, I know that when my son gets sick, he does better with Sudafed than he does like the NyQuil or the DayQuil. Um, but also a lot of people, you know, they, they take Sudafed instead of NyQuil or DayQuil. I got some ibuprofen. You got 40 caplets compared to uh, Motrin. And then the Tylenol or acetaminophen, their version of it, 40 caplets compared to Tylenol. Um, some people prefer Tylenol, some people prefer Motrin, but if you're really sick and you have a high fever, you can alternate Motrin and Tylenol so that you can take medication faster than you would just waiting on one or the other. So I've got both of those. Um, I'm gonna tell you about the Tums last because I have a neat thing to tell you about the Tums and why they are in, uh, why they go with the medicine, but they can also go with first aid. Um, we got this allergy relief, which is comparable to Benadryl. You get 36 tablets in there. This music, mucus relief, which would be like um, Mucinex, and you get 10 in, in there. Now, I also got antacids. So I got these because not only would they be good, you know, if you have acid reflux or whatever for you to chew some antacid tablets, but... The other night, I cut my thumb pretty pretty bad. Um, I was preparing dinner and I had a brand new sharp knife and I cut the tip of my thumb pretty bad. And it would not stop bleeding for over an hour. We wrapped it and wrapped it and wrapped it multiple times in bandages and it just kept bleeding through everything. And then my son-in-law remembered, I had forgotten this, but he remembered that my mom, when she would go to dialysis, if her port would bleed too long, the nurses would put a Tums on it. I asked her doctor about that when she told me they were doing it and he kind of laughed and he said he was aware of it. And as a doctor, he was not going to suggest that somebody use Tums to stop bleeding, but yes, he was aware his nurses did it and that it had been working. And so we got out of Tums the other night. It needs to be the chalky kind, not the chewy kind, but I put it on my thumb and it stopped bleeding in like less than 30 seconds. And I'm not, I don't mean after the hour it was almost done bleeding. It was still bleeding just as much at the end of that hour as it was at the beginning. And I put this on there and no kidding, in 30 seconds, it stopped the bleeding completely. We were able to bandage it up and it was able to start heal. So you could put this in your prepper medicine, but also keep a bottle in your first aid. I just thought that was really cool. That's it, that's everything that we got for our $10. And mostly I just wanted to show you, um, sometimes I pick name brand up, sometimes I pick up things like this, but I just wanted to show you that if you're doing a pantry and you're just getting started with extra things, you don't have to spend a ton of money. You can go ahead and get some things like this in your pantry for a, you know, a smaller amount of money and have them on hand because th this was $10 plus tax. It was 1080 where I live total. Um, to get these items from the Dollar Tree. If you like these videos, I hope you will stick around and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.